Last Sunday, France went to the polls for the first round of voting for the 2022 presidential elections. For those that don't know, if there's no outright winner in the first round, then there's a runoff between the two candidates that performed the best. This is exactly what happened last Sunday. No one got over 50% of the vote, and therefore Macron and Le Pen, the two top performers, will go to a second round of voting on the 24th of April. Le Pen, the far-right candidate, has a decent chance to replace Macron as president. And therefore this video will evaluate what a Le Pen presidency would mean for the EU, and how likely it is for her to actually win. It goes without saying that Le Pen and Brussels don't have the best track record. In the two previous presidential bids, Le Pen pledged to leave the EU and the Eurozone, saying that a newly created franc could pay off France's debts. This didn't sit well with a lot of voters, and she has since backed away from those ideas. However, she's still a strong critic and proposes drastic EU reform, calling for a European alliance of nations. It is still somewhat unclear what exactly she means by this, but so far she has made statements that go against some of the EU's fundamental building blocks. Firstly, she has insisted that French law should trump EU law, which is clearly incompatible with EU membership. She would join Poland and Hungary in their challenge to the EU's top court. Secondly, she wants to boost the number of border staff and start doing custom checks on goods coming into France, even from other EU members. She also wants to give preference to French businesses on all government contracts and give farmers extra subsidies. Thirdly, she's in favor of temporarily reintroducing border controls and of negotiating bilateral free movement agreements with other EU members that limit non-EU immigration. Furthermore, through constitutional amendment, she wants to make it possible to discriminate against foreign residents, including ones from the EU, in terms of jobs, welfare and housing. And lastly, she wants to cut France's contribution to the EU budget by 5 billion euros per year. Le Pen also wants to change the EU agenda, especially around migration, with overhauls to the passport-free Schengen area and the EU migration agency Frontex. All these mentioned policies break EU law and may cause the greatest crisis in EU history. And it's not just the EU. Le Pen has also called NATO a warmongering organization and has stated her desire to take France out of its integrated command structure. I haven't looked at Le Pen's domestic policy, which is what is arguably winning her most of her voters. Her message is to shift economic power and advantage away from the rich to the ordinary people. But this video is based on the EU, so I will not dive deeper into this. But how likely is Le Pen to actually win? If you look at the first round of voting, Macron had a significant lead over Le Pen. However, an even more far-right candidate, Zemmour, has already endorsed Le Pen, meaning that Le Pen may potentially gain another 7.1% of votes in the second round. But ultimately, it comes down to what the 22% of Mélenchon voters decide to do in the next round. Mélenchon has already urged his voters to not vote for Le Pen, but a recent IFO poll shows that his base is split, with 33% supporting Macron, 23% supporting Le Pen, and 44% potentially abstaining to vote altogether. And then there's still the 20% of voters who voted for other parties, creating even more uncertainty. But if we look at the poll of polls from Politico, you can see that Macron is still the firm favorite, even though he has lost ground recently. A lot can happen in two weeks, and there's still the debate on the 20th of April that may sway some voters. But it goes without saying that a Le Pen win will be a blow to the European project. But what do you think? Can Le Pen win? And what would it mean for the EU? Let me know in the comments. And please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the content. Until next time.